like to show you the pendulum, another tool that dowsers use. And here is just a little wooden nut on a string that they use at the National Con Dowsers Convention. This one is a clear quartz on a chain. This one is metal and it's got sacred geometry, which is called ice. Next, I would like to show you how to use the L rods. This is what I use when I go out and find water. I just love the L rods. See, they're very, very volatile and they move very, very easy. What do you use dowsing for? Well, we talked about well sites. You use it to find well sites. And there are dowsers who find archaeological sites, uh, lost items, pets, and people. And I mentioned about the lost calves. Finding septic systems, water pipes, electric wires, and so forth. Uh, you can use it to find what vitamins you need to take, what company you should get it from, because not all vitamin companies are the same, and you want them that are alive, vitamins that are alive food. Uh, medications, and I'm going to tell you a little story about medication. This is the third class in a series called The Art and Science of Dowsing. And this particular class is on finding a well site for a family who needs a well for them. The things that we are going to cover today are the tools that you need for water dowsing, what to concentrate on when you're looking for the water, and finding out what you found, how many gallons per minute, and how deep is it, not only the spot, but all those other things. Picking the right spot for the drill bit, or is this going to be a shallow well and a backhoe will be enough. Finding the depth of the water in the gallons per minute, which we mentioned before. Is the water willing to be a source for this family? And that's very important because if it's not, then we have to find another site, which is rare, but does happen, and we'll cover that in a little bit. There is another form of dowsing, which I call map dowsing, and it is of the human body. So you have this in your packet, and if you will get it out and lay it before you. This is the chakra system of the body. And what you do with this is <clears throat> you can put your finger on the chakra and ask, is my base chakra working in perfect order and just the way it is supposed to be? Okay, if you get a yes, fine. If you get a no, then just put a Y or an N. Just put a little Y or an N by each one. Is I'd just like to show you what you should wear if you're going to be a water dowser and if you're going into the woods or the fields where the grass is tall. You should have long pants. I wear usually hiking boots. And I wear my socks over, tuck my pants right in, and then I usually spray my feet and my legs with um, bug spray on my arms. I often wear long sleeves. If not, if it's hot like today, I just put some all-natural uh, bug repellent because I'm allergic to so many things. I them to build a brand new house. And I know it's just up ahead, but the first thing I do is put clean, clear water in my mind's eye. Water that would be enough to supply this family for as long as the house is here. So, that's what I'm looking for and that's what I hold right in my mind's eye. So, here we go. First of all, direction. Now well, we know it's over in this direction, so we'll... So what I'd like you to do right now is I'd like you to close your eyes. If you already work with your angels, I would like you to just call your angels in right now. If you don't work with the angels, just call them and say angels and guides. Some people call them guides. Would you please come to me now? Then pick up your pendulum and say, are you here? If you get a yes, great. If you haven't, close your eyes again, 
and ask again. If you've not been talking to them on a regular basis, it may take a minute. Just say, I'd like to get to know you. Would you please come and be with me now? Thank you.